Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Women's Hockey Reviews. Today we're going to be looking at the CCM Game On face mask and the Howie's Hockey Splash Guard. Let's take a look. Alright, so the first one we're going to look at is the Howie's Hockey Splash Guard. Now, as you can see, this is a piece of plastic or some sort of plasticky material. Uh, you can get these on Howie's Hockey Tapes website, and these come in a pack of three, I believe, for 20 US dollars. And these are just a splash guard that you can put inside your hockey face mask. There will be a video up here somewhere of an up-close look at it and a picture of me wearing it as well. Now, the goal of this is basically just to have something within your face mask to protect you from spitting or any kind of um, aerosol which um, COVID is transmitted through. So, what are the pros and cons of this? Well, I really like this mask because it allows for great breathability. I know there are a lot of people who are really concerned with uh, masks like these that don't allow for great breathability when you're on the ice because you know when you're on the ice you're going as fast as you can pretty much all the time and by the end of a shift you're pretty gassed even without having a mask on. Now this allows you to pretty much breathe like normal but you have that extra protection blocking your face and as you can tell on the design it covers your mouth, and then also your nose up here too. I have used this in a game and I really like it. Um, I still feel protected on the ice. Um, I feel pretty comfortable with my teammates knowing that they're safe with the COVID precautions, but having uh, extra protection is always a good idea. Now, there are two drawbacks to this. Uh, one is that mine fogged up and Howie's advertises this having an anti-fog coating on their website. On one side of this, it tells you when you get it. Now, I don't know if that's because I brought this already applied on my mask. So I brought it from being hot outside to cold in the rink. And then the heat of me breathing onto it is what caused the moisture. It didn't really affect me at all having that fog up there but I know a lot of people would be upset with that so that's something to consider also you know maybe I just didn't put it on right I'm pretty sure I did but you never know it can always get mixed up here so that was the biggest drawback I found with this is that it actually did fog up um, but for me that really wasn't much of an issue as far as uh, being able to um, a, put it into your hockey helmet. It's not as easy as you would think, but it's not really difficult either. You basically just have to bend it and kind of put this part in the bottom of your mask. And then all you got to do is take these Velcro straps off, put them around one of the rings of your face mask, and then clasp them back on. So if your rink allows masks like these, that's another drawback is I've heard of some rinks not allowing these types of face masks. You've got to have the ones that actually cover your your nose and your mouth tightly. Because uh, this just goes on your cage. It doesn't actually cover your mouth. It, it just goes on the cage itself. Um, so if your rink allows that, I think this is a great choice to keep you or your kids safe. It's pretty cheap. Like I said, you get three for $20. Mine has some scratches on it from taking it in and out of the mask a couple times, but... I guess that's why they give you a pack of three because it's not entirely indestructible, um, but it shouldn't really impact your vision very much. So I think this is a great buy if this is something that fits what you're looking for and your rink allows it. And that is the Howie's Hockey Splash Guards. I'll put a link in the description below of where you can find those. All right, so now we've got the CCM Game On face mask. And this is more like a traditional mask that you would wear to the grocery store or, you know, going out. It tightly hugs your face, so it attaches to your, your cage, but it actually fits close to your face mask. And I'll demonstrate this, and there's also going to be a video um, of what it looks like in my helmet and what it looks like when I'm wearing it. But just to show you...
So this is gonna be more like a face mask. Uh, like I said, in the Howie's Hockey, some ice rinks are forcing you to get this. They'll either make you wear one like this or an actual mask. Um, I have worn a surgical style mask uh, within my helmet before, and I'll talk about that at the end. I think this is a great option. I have worn this a few times for both practices and games, and you know, it's just kind of whatever you're looking for in a protector. I think that the more fatigued you get, the harder it is to breathe in these things. I didn't feel like I was struggling for air, but at the end of the shifts, I could definitely tell I was a little more tired and gasping for air than I normally was when I didn't have to wear a mask. So I don't know if that was just because uh, I was extra tired that day or it was because of the mask itself, but that was something I noticed about this. Um, but it's really easy to assemble into your mask. You've got these straps here that attach to the rings of your cage, and then you've got this one on the bottom that also attaches to underneath the chin cup. And then another really nice thing about these masks, which I personally prefer in whatever masks I wear, is that this part right here you can cinch up to your nose uh, and close it up so that you get that maximal protection. Now this is a pretty athletic fiber. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but it's it's also pretty thick, but it's pretty athletic fiber itself too. So because that it has that athletic fiber in it, you can get one of these masks for $20 as well. So you can either get one of these for $20 or three of the Howie's splash guards for $20. Obviously I have both. Uh, it just depends on the situation. I feel better protected with this one on, but again, I can definitely see how a lot of people are going to say they can't breathe as well. They have trouble breathing. So it's whatever your preferences are, but I cannot say enough that I just recommend wearing something extra on the ice. I think if you're really worried about breathing and having trouble breathing that you should at least get the splash guard but these are also a great option too i've worn these to stick and pucks as well and, and my own little sessions and i've never felt out of breath just that one scrimmage I, I felt like i couldn't catch my breath very very well and like i said i don't know if that was because of this or because i was just really tired that day but you know there's also a little bit of airflow within this as well but you're definitely more covered with this one than the Howie's splash guard. So this is the CCM Game On Face Mask. And I should also mention that I actually have a Bauer helmet. And just because it's CCM uh, doesn't really mean anything. They fit on any cage as far as I can tell, as, as long as it's the wire cage. Because I have a wire cage, I don't have a bubble. Um, but it, it fits on my Bauer react 75 helmet perfectly fine and uh, so i don't think there should be any troubles um i think they also have variations for bubbles and also if you just wear the top shield if you don't have a full cage i believe they have options for that as well so you can pretty much find these at any hockey store uh, pure hockey hockey monkey ice warehouse um, ccm's website um so I'll put a link in the description to probably CCM's website just so you can see what it's all about. But that is the CCM Game On face mask. And then I just wanted to briefly talk about if you aren't able to spend any money or if you don't have the $20, hockey is an expensive sport already. You can most certainly wear a regular mask within your hockey helmet. Just put it on like normal and then put your helmet on and that shouldn't be any trouble. You'll be just as safe with that as you would with any of these other masks and maybe even a little safer. I've actually worn uh, the surgical hospital masks on the ice as well and it did get really sweaty and gross so you're probably going to have to have some designated hockey face masks or wash them a lot. But, you know, that's also an excellent option, too, if, if you can wear that face mask. And I know a lot of hockey rinks are requiring them, too. So 
Even the ones you wear outside are perfectly fine to wear on the ice. Those are just some hockey specific ones that I thought I'd talked about and I think they're great options for people that are able to afford them. All right, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of the CCM Game on Face Mask and the Howie's Hockey Splash Guard. If you use one or the other, prefer one or the other, leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of them. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Please, please, please give me some feedback. I'm always looking for feedback. Check out Stark Hockey's website for some awesome gloves, women's hockey gear, apparel, you name it. They got it. I'm not sponsored by them at all. I just think the company's great and they have a lot of good options for women out there. And I just want to say that I appreciate the continued support. Hope you guys have a happy, happy new year. And let's hope that 2021 is a little better to us than 2020 was. All right, I'll see you in the next video.